The top civil engineering students for 2019 are Mwana, Amina, Tari and Rhonda. My name is Rhonda Hyde and civil engineering to me is but another form of creativity. I'm Amina Irmus and I'm inspired by being myself. I am Wanda Mwale and I believe that women can change the world. I'm Tari Mfinde, I'm passionate about sustainability. The students are focusing on projects related to sustainability, but more importantly, about rethinking waste streams. And I find that really interesting because not only are they questioning what we view as a waste, but they're also questioning the social norms of what it means to be an engineer. Apparently, my master's research is on urine, but specifically concentrating on the um, fertilizer producing urinal that was developed here at UCT. But my focus of research is saying, okay, how can we improve this? From a young age, I wanted to do something mechanical, actually. But mechanical seemed very technological, which was an aspect I didn't really like. And then in matric, I, that's when I came across civil engineering, and I'd see like, oh my word, these people are literally building up communities. It comes back to the basics of humanity, having to connect people to roads, providing basic services such as water, shelter, that is civil engineers. We build up the communities, we connect people. We sort of like the foundations of communities. My thesis topic was on urine and resource recovery. And basically I chose this topic because of current circumstances in the world today, such as global warming. And I wanted to contribute towards waste recycling. Tradition and culture kind of limits me to certain career paths. So by me taking this step out, I feel like it inspired not only myself, but also by seeing them inspired by me. I think at some point, probably decades ago, it was really around having a fast track career. And now we have a whole lot of students who are really committed to and interested in making a difference in the world. And I think that's also reflected in the numbers of women in the faculty. My specialization promotes sustainability in that we take a special type of bacteria to promote a natural process to reinforce soils, stabilize soils, and it's less aggressive to traditional methods that have been used in the past to do the very same thing. I am beyond proud. I think for me, meeting them, having our paths crossed, it, it's basically, it gives me a lot of inspiration because I think not only is it about their achievements, but there's so much bigger than that. It's about inspiring other young girls who are deciding whether they should pursue a career in engineering. To be in the top five, honestly, I feel so happy. It took me a while to actually process it and say, okay, you're part of the top five. But for me, it feels like a great achievement. The fact that these women in civil engineering are graduating at the top of their class is absolutely fabulous. I feel very proud of them as the dean of the faculty and as a woman. I hope that it will inspire more women to choose engineering, civil engineering in particular, but there are plenty of options in EVE. I think the way that they've spoken about their excitement and what they've done is also tremendous for our faculty and for our disciplines. Whenever you speak to people, they say, oh, civil engineering, that's a guy's um, career, essentially. But what I've learned is having supervisors that are female and having colleagues that are female that are doing amazing things and seeing articles about female researchers just inspires you to think that it's not about who you are, it's about what you can do.